Stanley is evaluating a waste stream of food that has a 67% moisture content. The ultimate analysis of the waste is given below. He estimates a chemical formula for the dry, ash-free waste as most nearly A, C6, H, O, 5, N, B, C21, H61, O, 13, N3, C, C5, H8, O3, N2, or D, C7, H20, O4, N. Pause the video and give yourself five minutes to solve the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today we will discuss elemental analysis. Elemental analysis is a process where a sample of some material is analyzed for its elemental and sometimes isotopic composition. Elemental analysis can be qualitative and it can be quantitative. Elemental analysis falls within the ambit of analytical chemistry, the set of instruments involved in deciphering the chemical nature of our world. The most common form of elemental analysis, CHNS analysis, is accomplished by combustion analysis. In this technique, a sample is burned in an excess of oxygen in various traps, collecting the combustion products, carbon dioxide, water, and nitric oxide. The masses of these combustion products can be used to calculate the composition of the unknown sample. A chemical formula is aware of information about the chemical proportions of atoms that constitute a particular chemical compound or molecule using chemical element symbols, numbers, and sometimes also other symbols such as parentheses, dashes, brackets, commas, and plus or minus signs. A chemical formula is not a chemical name and it contains no words. The simplest type of chemical formulas are called empirical formulas, which use letters and numbers indicating the numerical proportions of atoms of each type. Molecular formulas indicate the simple numbers of each type of atom in a molecule with no information on structure. Our goal is to find the correct proportions of atoms for carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen that best reflects this waste stream. We have the percentages of the five waste constituents and their molar masses, so we can use units of moles to compare the proportions of each to get the correct subscripts for number of parts in one waste molecule. To get the number of moles, we need to divide the amount of waste of each constituent by its molar mass for that specific constituent. We don't have an exact amount, but we have the percentages, so we can use a standard amount of 100 pounds just so we can complete calculations. Let's get started. I've constructed this table just so we can keep track of our calculations until we get the correct proportions. So we have 100 pounds of waste within this waste composition, and we have the percentages. So let's calculate the weight for each constituent. We know that it has a moisture of 67%, and there's 6% ash in this waste. So I will multiply each portion by 33% to represent the amount of solid waste in composition minus moisture and divide by 94% to reflect the new weight proportion of the waste stream minus the ash and we get the following. Now we will divide each proportion by its molar mass or you may call it the atomic mass to get the amount of moles of each constituent in the 100 pounds of waste. Just in case you do not have a periodic table in front of you, the atomic mass of carbon is 12, for hydrogen it's 1, oxygen has an atomic mass of 16, and 14 is the atomic mass for nitrogen. After doing this calculation, you now have the number of moles in this 100 pound portion of waste. Whenever you create chemical formulas, you need to find the least common multiple of your subscripts for the number of atoms so you can have whole numbers as your subscripts. Our smallest amount of moles for any constituent is nitrogen, for which we calculated 0.18 moles in this waste stream. We will divide all of our molar amounts by this 0.18 to ideally get all of our proportions and whole numbers. We do this and we get the following. We now have 7 atoms of carbon, 20 atoms of hydrogen, 4 atoms of oxygen, and 1 atom of nitrogen. 
This looks great and your answer should be D. Join us for episode 40 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.